Okay, so there's a thing you need to understand about different file types in Figma. This is a PNG, for example, okay? And uh, let me show you uh, an SVG file. For example, let's say we want to use this illustration. So we download it as SVG, then we simply drag and drop it, and we're done. Uh, yeah, so the difference between these two is that uh, this one, the SVG, works with vectors, and the left one, the PNG, works with pixels. Uh, while the SVG is is really easy to edit because uh, cam uh, Figma sorry, uh, automatically recognizes the individual layers and you can move things around, you can do pretty much whatever you need. Okay, you can change colors easily. You won't be able to do the same thing for a PNG because these are not vectors. If you look, you can like zoom infinitely to into this illustration and it will still be sharp because these are lines, not pixels. Uh, you won't be able to do that with a PNG. See, it get pixelated at some point. Uh, your only way to make adjustments to a PNG uh, is uh, to click on the actual image, and then you're gonna have a few options. Uh, you can play around in Figma. Uh, you can adjust the exposure, the contrast. Uh, if you want to change colors, your best bet would be to play around with. Uh, temperature at the tint and the saturation to somehow find uh, the shade of color you're looking for but you won't be able to for example to make uh, a specific area from a PNG a different color in Figma at least if you want to do that you might want to try Photoshop or some different uh, app or maybe look up for uh, pl Figma plugins but they might not be as complex and might not work as as, as simple as you want, or, or as simple as what a, a an SVG file, for example, which gets like automatically uh, converted and split up in layers. Um, yeah, so that's that's your only choice if you use uh, PNG files. You can only make these adjustments.